Hello everyone, welcome to Grey Pot. Today's recipe is a meringue based cake. This is a lemon pavlova with lemon curd. This cake is named after a Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova. This meringue is made with egg whites, so let's start separating the eggs. Here I've used four egg whites. And while separating the egg whites, you need to be really careful that you don't need any spots of egg yolk in it. And also be careful with the egg shells. Now let's transfer these egg whites into a really cleaned bowl. Add in a pinch of salt and start whipping it. Now you have to incorporate around 1 cup of powdered sugar into this egg whites but add only 1 tablespoon at a time. Don't forget to scrape down the sides in between so that the extra sugar which is stick to the sides will get incorporated into the egg whites. You have to blend it till you get the stiff and glossy peaks like this. Then add some vanilla essence for flavoring and blend it. Now we have to add some cornstarch into this mixture which will absorb the extra moisture and help to stabilize the meringue. Just fold that in. Now add some white vinegar and mix it. Now take a baking tray lined with parchment paper and I have drawn a circle on the other side. Now take the whisk with the leftover meringue and dab it onto the baking tray and then place the parchment paper so that the paper will not move around. Now just scrape down the entire meringue mixture onto the baking tray. It looked so beautiful, isn't it? It looks like a big cloud on our baking tray. Now with the help of a spatula, spread this into a circular shape, basically in the shape of a cake. Now we're gonna cook this on a very low heat. So I have preheated my oven at 130 degrees Celsius and I'm baking this cloud for one hour. You have to keep the baking tray on the lower rack because it's gonna rise up while baking. But don't go with the looks of pavlova in the oven because once it cools down, it's totally gonna change its shape. So while it is baking, let's make a lemon curd for the topping. Now this step is completely optional. If you don't want to make a lemon pavlova, you can skip this part. So whisk in 4 whole egg. Into that, add in around 3 4 cup of granulated sugar. Now add around 1 third cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now I'm cooking this on a double boiler. You can either keep this directly onto the stove. But as it get cooks, it will get thickened and it may stick to the bottom and get burned. So just be careful with that and to be in the safer side, use a double boiler. After 5 to 10 minutes, you can see it is getting thicker and thicker. You have to whisk it continuously or it may get spoiled. Once it reaches this thicker consistency, take it out from the flame and then add in 1 tablespoon of lemon zest and around 4 tablespoon of room temperature butter. Now mix it until all the butter is melted. 
Now keep it aside and allow it to cool down. Now our pavlova is ready. Turn off the oven and let it rest in the oven itself by the door opened. Now our lemon curd has cooled down and it got more thicker. Now take some whipped cream. Add some lemon curd into it and fold it. This lemony whipping cream tastes really delicious with the pavlova. Now our pavlova has cooled down. I have told you don't go with the looks because once it cools down it gets cracked. So now add in the whipped cream with the lemon curd on top of the pavlova to cover up all the cracks. Now add some more lemon curd on top of the whipping cream and with the help of a skewer or a toothpick just mark some designs. Top it up with some lemon wedges. The delicious lemon pavlova is ready. Let's cut through and see the marshmallow texture inside. You can see the beautiful white marshmallow chewy soft center inside the pavlova. The taste is insane. The soft center pavlova with the crisp outer layer with the lemon curd. Oh, it's simply awesome. Now, if you don't want a lemon pavlova, then simply add some whipped cream on top of the pavlova cake and load it with some fresh fruits. So definitely try out this recipe and give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments and suggestions in the comment section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest. Click the logo to subscribe to Greypot and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of new videos. Watch more interesting and unique recipe videos from our channel Greypot. Do check it out. Thank you.